Hey you guys, this is Psycho Power Ranger once again, and I'm here to bring you another Pondering Patches. So here we go. Okay, so let's first talk about Ari. If it's as good as it looks, she'll be good in almost any situation, be it solo top, Solo min, anything she could really do it. She's definitely looking to be a very strong AP caster. So what her passive does, whenever she hits with the spell, it stacks a charge, up to nine charges. Once she hits that ninth charge, her next spell will do spell vamp. This is awesome. She'll be able to support herself very strong with this passive alone. Orb of Deception is ridiculous. It's a skill sort of like Sivir's Boomerang Blade. It shoots out and comes back in. On the way out, it does magic damage. On the way back in, this is where it gets amazing. What it does is it'll do true damage. This will make her an amazing harass all on its own. The next skill is Foxfire, which shoots out Foxfires, and after a moment, they'll target an enemy and lock on and hit them. Hopefully, this will prioritize champions. All right, now Charm. It's essentially an improved taunt because the enemy won't attack you back. Now, I guess one could argue that taunt would be a better thing in some cases, like having Thorn Mail, but in most cases, Charm would definitely be better, especially for an AP caster. And finally, Spirit Rush. This is a crazy skill. It's like Ezreal's Arcane Shift, but way better. Hitting three enemies and being able to be used three times in a row. You can even stagger them. She's a really awesome champion. I definitely think she's going up in the top. I feel like Riot just decided to be like, all right, this is how we'll make our champions. We'll make them OP first, and then we'll make them weaker. Probably because people rage more when things are weaker from the start. Okay, so let's talk about those patch changes. Fizz took a nerf. His health regen actually took a very large hit. His early game is going to suffer. Going to 7 per 5 from 9. Chum in the Waters has a 3-2-1 timer now, kind of like Zillion's Time Bomb. Urgent Strike is getting an AP ratio reduction to 0.6 from 0.7. And Seastone Trident is receiving a huge endgame damage reduction, going down to 30 at max from 50 but staying the same at lower, which is 10 to 10. Cassidy's Rift Walk is taking a hit to its time. I never saw a big problem with Cassidy's Teleport, but I would only assume this was created for the fact that it was too easy for him to chase enemies, which was a big problem in Riot's eyes, apparently. Lux's Prismatic Barrier is finally getting a buff. It's been such a weak shield, it was almost not even worth using. Maybe this will help that out a little bit. As well as increasing the missile speed, making it actually able to hit an ally. It's so hard to hit an ally with that. Unless you've been playing Lux for a very long time. And she's getting Lucent Singularity cooldown reduced to 9 seconds from 11. I personally don't like this because I hate that skill being used against me, but this will extremely help her out in her mid game. She'll be definitely used much more in mid because of these small changes. Thank you. Bullet time on Misfortune has been given a buff, going to 125 base damage from 110 base damage at max level. This is great. Bullet time used to be an amazing skill that just did game-changing things, and then it just started getting nerfed, and now it's to nothing. But then it's starting to get back into its buff game. I really would like to see Misfortune back in the game. Mordekaiser. Heck yes. They're raising the damage of his Siphon Destruction up to 250 from 225. That's a huge change, and it's very important. And his Shield Recharge amount to 35% up from 30%. These two combined it will make his Shield increase much higher. Maybe even making it more towards how he used to be, though definitely not his glory days. Pantheon got a small buff, reducing the mana costs of Aegis of Zionia and Grand Skyfall. Though I don't think that these changes are going to make him even worth playing yet. Sivir getting a little rework, as Riot normally does whenever they change a champion. They're reducing Boomerang Blade's base damage by 10 at max level. And making it scale with ability power at a .5 ratio. Ricochet is making its damage fall off a little bit less, down by 5% from 25. As well as fixing that mana bug, which is huge. You just run out of mana all the time, so hopefully this will be a little bit better for that. All in all, I still haven't seen too many Sivers out there, and I still don't see that this change is going to make her worth anything. Nothing really notable about Sona, they just made it so that she doesn't auto-attack idols while Power Cord is up. Eternal CC reduction now includes Silence and Blinds. Okay, here's that Trindomir we were talking about. It's been reduced to 2.3 at max level from 2.65. This will be huge. It actually is a pretty big change, and I'm sure some Trindomir people are pretty upset about this. Will it change the effectiveness in the Trindomir up top? Not at all. Trinomir is still going to be a very powerful unit in this game, and there's no way that this nerf has ruined anything of his game. Twist of Faking, that range increased by 15 from 510, and as the obvious, he no longer attacks idols when he has his picket card up. Now this is sad about Udyr. They just removed his dodge from Monkey. They didn't give any sort of compensation. They just took it away. I don't know how much I like that, and it's definitely going to affect how well Udyr is in the game. He won't be that invincible 
powerhouse like he used to be. He won't be able to take those shots like he once did. Vagar. This is exciting. My favorite part about this patch. They're reducing all of his mana costs on every skill but Baleful Strike. This is exciting. He's going to become a very good champion. You'll definitely be seeing a lot more Vagars. One of his biggest problems was his mana, and this will no longer be the case. Not with all these changes. No, no. So definitely be expecting a lot more Vagars. Mercury Treads are going to be used even more. <laughs> that circle stun, man. Ugh. Volibear, getting that nerf like I thought he would, though it wasn't exactly how I figured. They did not touch his passive. Frenzy's damage was reduced by 30 at max level from 290 down to 260, as well as the damage bonus scaling down to 18% from 20. This is a pretty big chunk of damage removed from this skill when you put them all together. Like, a ton. This is a hard nerf, for sure. Xin Shao, thank you so much for giving him a little bit more. Armor magic resistance increased has went up to 13 from 11. They decided to hit every tree in some way, debuffing offensive and defensive, and buffing utility. Alacrity's attack speed has been reduced by an entire 2%, down to 4% from 6% at max level. Summoner's Resolve has been reduced to 10%, from 15% for heal. This is great. I was tired of seeing Singed regen his entire health bar. And of course, Strength of Spirit has replaced Perseverance, and I'm really excited about this change in general. All these changes put together definitely makes Utility Tree a far more important pick, so you can definitely see the utility being used more often. This is also very notable. Warmogs has taken a hit. And it's not a small hit either, it's a large amount. As well as reducing how fast you can increase that amount of health, you can now only gain a passive of 350 instead of 450 from Warmogs. Also, reducing the passive of heal per second. All this put together has really hit the tanky DPS, which is happy for me. I'm tired of the tanky DPS meta. Let's move on to something new, please. Okay, that is everything I have to say about this patch. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you could go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you like this video, leave a comment down below. If you did enjoy this video, you want to see something new put into this video, or just to talk to me about League of Legends in general, go ahead and favor this video if you're really excited about the new champion that's come out and you love these changes that have happened. I know I really like almost every single thing that happened in this besides that cast. I don't know why he got hit like that. And finally, go ahead and subscribe to this channel if, if you do like the information that I give out or if you like my videos that I put up at this channel or the personality that I give out. You know, whatever you enjoy about this little connection we got going, just go ahead and support it by giving me a subscription. <laughs> but I'm not trying to beg you here. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. Peace out.